Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been quite some time since I've uploaded. I actually realized recently, given that all of my American counterparts are putting together their classrooms, that I didn't actually post this past year's classroom setup or reveal. So I am currently, as you can see, if you click on this video, I'm gonna share the setup in this video and the little vlogs and clips that I've um, recorded that week. And then my next video will be the final classroom reveal. So I found out that I will be back in this classroom. I think that it's like 90% certain I'm gonna be back in this room this coming year. And so the design is going to be pretty similar, I think, uh, but there are some things that I'm definitely gonna be changing up. So you'll see all of that in the next couple of weeks. I am on my last week of summer vacation this week and we go back next Monday. I'm currently filming on um, August 15th, Sunday. So I have one week left of holiday. So I hope you guys enjoyed what my classroom was last year and I hope you guys will follow along this year's journey. So keep on watching. Don't forget, please like and subscribe to this channel. You can also follow me over on my teacher gram, my Instagram, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya! Good morning, everybody. So today is the first day back to school for teachers, well, at least in private. And I am driving in. I'm like right on schedule with what I said I was gonna leave at, which was really good. I actually almost forgot my lunch, <laughs> which wouldn't have been the end of the world. I would have just run to Tim's, but it wasn't the greatest way to start. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna drive in and we will get started. Hey guys, so we finished our meeting. We had it outside in the middle outdoor turf area. And now I have to do my room. And I'm leaving my old room and trying to get all the stuff. So most of the stuff is my best friend Boston's because she's moved into this room. So yeah. Alright, so day one was complete. Didn't do very much. <laughs> it was a lot of stuff moving back and forth, so moving from one side of the school to the other. So I've put a few things away. Most things are still being moved, but I thought I would give you guys an update. So you guys will recognize this from my classroom last year. It's not gonna stay there. It's just kind of where it is for the moment. Still going through my piles. This is my pondering for the boards because last year mine were painted black so I didn't have to put any backing on them but I'm going to figure that one out I still have all my decor stuff and just lots and lots of stuff but these have been moved I have this other unit over here which is going to kind of be a teacher storage stuff because I don't have a lot of storage in this class and then I managed to swipe a couple of extra shelves so that each of my kiddos has a shelf and then we've got our tech, which I think is going to be over here, either on this unit or on the other unit. This unit might come over here, or that unit might come over here, I'm not sure yet. But this is my view. Oh, lots to do. I'm going to go home and crick it. Hey everybody, so obviously I am back home now in my office and I'm about to get cricketing. Um, I ended up picking up this little pencil case from Dollar Tree just to have as my dirty mask catcher that I'll bring home on Fridays because I'm gonna wear a different mask every day. Put it in there and then Friday come home, wash them and have them set for Monday. I do have extra masks, so I have more than just a week's worth. Um, I'm going to have one in my car. It's just a car mask for when I have to wh whip in to like Walmart and other places like that after work so that I can keep, again, my school ones separate. I'm gonna be very vigilant with my masks uh, pertaining to when I'm at school just because um, I want to be extra careful in case I do end up seeing anybody in my bubble 
that may be compromised in any way. Because I was getting used to the fact that I didn't think I was going to be able to see my dad when I went back to work. But there's been some updates where it looks like I should be good as long as I'm like super vigilant at work. So that is the plan. Yeah, so like I said, I didn't really get much done today in the classroom. After I said that to you guys, I ended up doing a little bit more. Uh, I just kind of was like, oh, look, what's in this bin? Okay, let me move this and let me move that. So I did clear out a few things, but there is there's definitely, definitely more to do, obviously. Um, so I'm going to be working on... I have my schedule cards from last year. I'm hoping I have enough Velcro dots to reattach those to my wall. I'm just going through to see if I'm missing any subjects, given that I am teaching younger grades. So they have just social studies, whereas in the upper years I have history and geography. So I think I just made those as extras. So I'm pretty sure I've got everything I need. I have like an event, although we won't be having any events. Um, and I have stations, and then I have like language specific ones that are like writing, grammar, spelling, and then just language. Um, yeah, so I might edit, edit rather my headers because they have sunflowers, which was my not really theme. I didn't really have sunflowers across my room last year, just in a couple places. And then I have to plan my outdoor bulletin board. So you won't have seen it for a super long duration in this, but this board is massive it is over five feet wide and like last year i had like a two by three foot one outside of my classroom it was super tiny so it was like useless couldn't put like anything on it and now i have like so much space i don't know what to do with it so i did create something um i wrote down the acronym and i think i left it in one of my notebooks that i left at work because i was like i don't need this so I'm going to go back through my text messages because I'm pretty sure I sent a photo of it to Scott, my boyfriend, for those of you who are new. So I've got that and then I just have this little notebook. It's actually a notebook that like our kids have, but it was a spare one that I have and I have it as like my curriculum notes and, and ideas and stuff. And because I used it last year but I had less subjects, I just went back in and like divided it with these really, really satisfying um, post-it notes. Like the, they're like the thick ones. And it's pretty and I had to repeat odd color so I ended up going with the blue and that's the color of the book so it worked it, it pleased me but I am so tired like it was literally just carrying carrying things today so I'm gonna merge this with tomorrow I might as I might I'm doing a whole week I think last time I did it in a whole week uh, instead of multiple videos but I will see I think I might do day one two three four and then maybe the fifth one but hopefully tomorrow i can be more productive. I'm pretty sure we have more meetings tomorrow than today. Today we just had the one. Um, but I did really enjoy having it outside. We have a little um, turf. It's like a mini field. Like it's obviously not very, very large. It's for kindergartners. But it's, it's just like a... It looks like the field in between a track. That kind of like long shape. I'm sorry. My brain is totally past capacity. Uh, but anyways, we sat out there. So we were socially distant. Um, like I said, my best friend, I teach with my best friend, and she's actually in my bubble, so we were able to sit mask-free beside each other to give other people more space, which was nice. But we're not allowed to bring as much furniture into our classrooms this year, so now I have a couple of like Sterilite drawers that I can't bring in. But in general, that was day one. I did go to Walmart after work. Uh, two teachers are putting uh, cricketed vinyl on so one of them was a pre-made one from Cricut it's a teach it's like teach inspire something like that it's in the shape of an apple so I got a white tee for that and then I have a black tee for my classroom squad shirt that I'm gonna be wearing next week when I get to meet a number of my kids see you guys tomorrow good morning it is day two just leaving my house again I'm ahead of schedule today very very happy so the funny thing is we didn't have to be in until nine yesterday and last year, I think I arrived maybe like quarter to nine-ish, um, and it seemed like everybody was already there. So this year, I was aiming to get there for about 8.30. Um, not necessarily to beat everybody, but just because I knew I had so much stuff to move, I kind of wanted to get a head start so the hallway didn't get clogged, so we don't have very long or very wide uh, corridors. And it was like 8.30, <laughs> and we still had probably almost three quarters of our staff already there. So I laughed at it, man. I was just like, you tell us nine, we show up at eight. The principal's like, yeah, I got here at quarter past seven. She's like, because I, everyone was asking me what time we can come. Because last year, 
we didn't have our keys already this summer we obviously kept our keys because we didn't really go back um at the end of the year so i printed out some stuff that i'm going to cut and laminate my laminator that's still at home i need to go grab that but i didn't get to do my cricketing last night because i forgot the notebook that i needed to have the phrase that i wanted in it and my brain was not going to be capable of remembering what it is that i wanted on there so i'm going to hop back into my house and grab my laminator and then head off to work hey everyone so it is end of day three i am doing a really crummy job this year of filming because we just had lots of meetings that are just like mind-numbing but because of the fact that there's just so much to think about not that they're boring they're just we have so many procedures and protocols to work through and to um, obviously create the safest environment possible for our kids and yesterday I had forgotten uh, one of my borders at home because uh, I didn't use it last year so I didn't even have it stored at, at, at work um, and I needed that to finish something and then I hadn't done any of my cricketing so I was feeling really deflated yesterday so today was a lot better I got my giant bulletin board done uh, took forever and I was joking with my coworkers going if I ever have a good idea like this again please don't let me have it <laughs> tell me no so yeah so I've got that done finished one of my other boards started planning a back wall and getting a couple things up there and then just tidying because I had a lot of bins that were basically empty and I don't have the same storage as I had last year so I'm trying to find places for things to go that doesn't look cluttered and disastrous so that's still a work in progress but it's a start and I've made a start with what is sort of my classroom library it's all the books I should say all the books it's a small portion of the books that I already had in my classroom library last year I also inherited a bunch from my best friend who had books from when she taught littles she taught grades two and three to the group that's now in grade six. So it's a bunch of those, and like when I taught grade four last time, the books that I had were already in the classroom, and our older grades did a book drive that um, basically they brought in a bunch of their books and we redistributed them based off of grade level to the rest of the school. So I had a whole bunch of like Geronimo Stilton, Thea Stilton books. I'm sure I had other ones, but the, those ones, I literally had like 30 of them. And of course I had them numbered kids did not respect that but I tried so it's definitely weird because I don't have a bookshelf so right now they're kind of like along the window ledges because we have quite deep window ledges uh, and it's not ideal but it's something so I have to figure out if I'm going to just kind of cycle through or you know I'm going to ask what these kids read because honestly I don't know what they read anymore so I have a few things to do tonight I have many things to do tonight but a couple things that I like need to need to do um, and then I'm going to start working on curriculum stuff. So I'll have showed you what the end result of today looks like. But yeah, so I brought some bins home because I emptied them from books. But I have this one book bin that's like 50,000 pounds. And it's got a lot of books in it. <laughs> and I don't know where to put them. So they're going to just find a home in my basement, I suppose. Until I think I will only touch base with you guys now when it's finished. Because there's not going to be a huge difference. But I have a lot of decor posters to print and uh, put up, laminate. But unfortunately, uh, our school printer was being a little bit finicky. It's a little bit mad. We kind of ignored it for six months. So, couldn't print that work. But yeah, see you guys tomorrow.